Good afternoon, it's Tony Hayes from Parliament Investigation UK. Today's date is the 31st of December 2021, New Year's Eve, and the time is just coming up to 12.24. And today we're looking quite at quite an unusual um, capture, and it's one of them that is interesting. We may actually not be able to find the answers. This is, again, um, continuing with the, the Chester investigation uh this is the main office again and the situation with regards to this was that i just fire this up this is the what we call the main office it's uh the 21st of february this it was a sunday and apparently the owner wanted needed to do some work back at this office went back and took his young son I think he's about nine or ten years of age with him. Uh, he was going to watch football while uh, the owner c continued with doing some work at the office. When the owner actually goes to the loo, the child then starts to report when his father returned unusual sounds and noises. So I asked him to take this uh, footage off for me. Um, you can actually hear, I had a quick review. In fact, let's have a quick listen through. Let's have a listen through. <coughs> That's the sun coughing. Eh, sorry, sneezing. It's around this time he starts to hear sounds. Really, really difficult to make a, a judgment call when there's somebody actually in the in a room, maybe making noises. I wanted just to cover this because this is we don't get many like this. Uh, I thought, well, for those of you interested in the investigation side, it may be of interest. So, on normal volume, it's very difficult to hear anything. Another conversation went. Um, the son was in the office with him and he'd gone to the loo. Uh, while he was there, he said, There's a noise that sounded like it came from behind him or around by the camera. Um, yeah, he, he was on the, the actual sofa. There's a chair there and there's a sofa running across just that out of uh, sight of the um, the video. Um, what we actually found in this building, we've got two cameras. We've got one in the corner. And there's a camera there facing outside. There's a camera in this, uh, what we call the uh, uh, empty room, The uh, not the empty room, the sort of a briefing room, meeting room, and that door there leads into the hallway. There's a camera in there again, so there's four cameras. And no matter where we move these cameras, the thing is, whatever happens always seems to be slightly off camera. So the sun sat on the chair there. Um, slightly out of view. Yeah, about him sneezing. Um, he actually changed the camera because we did have a noisy camera. Although they don't move, it's the actual uh, lens itself that begins to cause problems, get a bit of noise. It's just, you know, after two, three years, they're running 24 hours a day, just get worn out. So we have replaced a number of these cameras, including this particular one. So th the way I think I'm going to work with this, I c there's nothing to see, nothing on there at all. And at the moment, there's not an awful lot to hear. So what we'll actually do is to just to be absolutely certain there's no electronic voice phenomena, um, something that might be hidden away within uh, the audio stream. So I'm going to get rid of the visual and concentrate 
on the audio. You just never know. You, we might just be able to pick out something which we can say is definitely not the sun, because only the sun is in there. I was only about nine or ten years of age. Um, whoops, wrong one. Okay. So it's just a question now, listening all the way through it. I'm going to use EQ, not for the EQ, but just so I can actually amplify it, turn the volume up. And what I'll do is just give it a test run just after that point there and uh, see if I can, how far I can take it before I get background feedback. Okay, I think that's what he's heard. Okay. This is the big bang <coughs> of, well not bang, the, of, of the, the sun sneezing. So just ignore, be ready for that. If you're using headphones, which is what I recommend, just remove them a few years for a couple of seconds. the wrap. Now the problem is you find in here, I've got that much volume on, is I'm picking up sound here. So I'm going to try just to see if I can adjust that out. Take a bit more volume up. I can actually hear the clicking. That sounds like a rap. <coughs> um, the room itself experienced literally thousands upon thousands of unexplained rapping. The frequency is very particular. It's around about 800 to 1,000 hertz. We have no idea what what these raps are. It doesn't matter what room you go in. The just produces endless amounts of these raps. We've done a couple of experiments now where we've been using the old cliche of one rap for yes and two raps for no, and sure enough, it appears to be able to answer intelligently to rapping. So these raps, once you've heard them, I've been dealing with them for years, they're very distinctive. Um, the reason why the, 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 the people define them as a rap, not, not a tapping. Um, and that is what the son has heard. He said he heard rapping. Uh, well, he said he heard a noise, like a tapping sound behind him. Turns out can't see anything. A couple of things happened. So um, this is well worth it. Why just simply turning the volume up um, that we're able to pick this up. So it's ready for the sneeze. <laughs> That's where it is. So what I'll do, I'll loop that. Keep playing that back. Make sure I've got the right bit. Yeah, that's it. And what I'm going to do now to put it onto average. I'm not convinced that that is a wrap. If I would play it any faster, it would in fact sound like a uh, clock. And it's these reflections. Normally what you see is just that bit there. I can reduce the the volume see how they're just jumping up, let's turn up a bit more
the ramps that we have in County where we can certainly say that they are that this particular unique frequency is between 800 and 1000 that's just a little bit out there about 1100 uh, and we've got that second reflection and the third one rising there we don't get it with the others it's almost as if them frequencies are cushioned out so I'm relatively confident now <coughs> this is a beauty about analysing rather than just using your ears ears can sound isn't always what you think you think it is and it can play tricks with you so I'm relatively com confident that that is uh, is a mechanical sound it may well be the camera again um, you know I've asked him the question is if the camera we, that we was changed I think so I think so isn't definitely yes it is maybe the answer is because we have changed these cameras before is just simply place a sticker on it when it was replaced when it was fitted uh, that type of thing just to rule that out um, so I'm not <clears throat> I'm going to put that one down as um, I will take the frequency of it I'll just turn it back up again I'll just take a screenshot of that uh, where was it now okay <clears throat> what I'll always do is, is I'll take I'll use snippet tool and I'll always take a quick um, screenshot of that particular one um, I'll put on it amped that tells me um, and of course it's not a wrap just a reminder I know exactly what that is if I amped it up so people looking at the frequency later I sometimes will write on these what they are uh, we've not done it for a while so I will do that next so what we do now take the loop off and we're going to go listen to the rest of it and I'll turn it up even it's high as a dare. Ah. I, was, I almost missed that on that ramp. I just caught it with maybe the eyesight then. There we go, 800 to 1000 hertz. That's the one. So it could possibly be that because there is that earlier rap sound. We'll go back to it. That the one we've really just been listening to. And there's that smaller sounding rap. That's what I'm interested in. Ah, that is definitely rap sounding. Okay. I could EQ this out. This sound here, this bass frequency. In fact, I'll show you what I mean. I can take all that out. But the trouble is, I've enhanced the frequency, and it's not really what I want to do. 
Um, so I tend to use it flat. I'll leave that frequency and I just explain it. So that we are, that is a very distinct wrap frequency. No side at whatsoever. It's always 800 to 1000. And it's the same sound all over the building. It doesn't matter if it's on the hallway, stairwell, empty room, um, main office, uh, meeting room. If we get this sound, it's always there, which makes it very difficult. It's been impossible to now to actually find out what it, what causes it. So that is a definite look wrap that uh, we encounter there. Um, I'm just not sure about the sound before because it's about four seconds before you can hear the other main that one there. Yeah, it's about four seconds in between. Okay. That doesn't help, does it? Sorry about that. No wonder it's a bit quiet. My fault. I should have chatted. Here's me criticising people yesterday, saying, make sure you do your test before you run the um, process. And I'm not bothered to check. Right, okay. Right, let's take it off a loop and listen to the rest of it. Okay, um, again we're dealing with um, sound here when we know the lad is in the room. I, he must have been spooked by hearing the raps some 10 seconds before, otherwise it will not, he wouldn't have mentioned it to his father. So we need to be careful that he's not allowing his imagination to run away um, with it. But he used to say he heard some, some noise behind him, tells his father. Then we got these other sounds. Let's split them up. Let's deal with the first sound. I'm actually going to call it a known sound, I really don't know what that is. Uh, it's not a voice anyway. I'll call it an unknown sound one. Um, I really just don't, I'm just not sure with that one. Yeah, the, the the frequency is just too strange uh, for a vocal. So it's not volume. It's some. It may be it's moved on the on the sofa that type of thing. This is where it gets gets problematic when you've got a human uh, involved there somewhere, maybe making sounds. Okay, no worries. Let's clear that one.
behind me. Well, I think, on if you've got any ideas of your own, please share them. You know, I'm very, very always keen to hear people's thoughts and opinions. Right, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Quite low volume as well. Yeah, this is where pareidolia, this is the, the brain's ability to, when it hears or sees something which it can't, which is not clear, it can then start to put, in case of images, pareidolia, you start to see faces in in nothing really. Um, we get it quite often with the images sensors, and likewise with audio, you hear something, and your brain quite tries to work out um, what it is. It's, it's certainly... Did do, do, do. And your brain starts to think, think things up. So, if you listen carefully, there's two syllables, I think. Yeah. You could probably argue, probably say it's three. And this is amped to death. I can't go any louder. That's a suggestion for Paradolia. That could say a biscuit. A biscuit. I'm pretty certain that's pareidolia. There's nothing connected with a biscuit. But if I was to put a story together, because we've got a young kid there, eight, nine, ten years of age, or something, and yeah, you, you look, all got an EVP here saying a biscuit. Uh, it would fit absolutely perfectly, um, but it doesn't. The these very, very, very low grade um, um, volume wise and frequency. I haven't a clue what's making that sound. There's not enough frequency there to call a judgment on that. We've also got the other problem of the ch the child being in the room. He could have quite easily have made that sound. So all is about all the best we can do with this is simply record it. That's about as much as we can do. Um, yeah. Okay, let's move on to the next bit. I've got the volumes turned up. Turn it back down. Ah. What on earth was that? Oh, that sounds a bit strange. There you go. That's the frequency there. Now that is interesting. Go on. It's two syllables. Um, it's certainly voice frequency. Um, no side frequency. And this is what we're finding. Um, 
with this room because this is the first opportunity, and I've been in this game 33 years, where the room is covered with multiple cameras. We've got in this room itself, we've got four cameras, CCTV cameras covering just that one room. There's more on, on the hallway, there's more in the empty room. It is cameras everywhere alerting to sound or visual. So, one of the byproducts of that many cameras is it throws up a considerable amount of captures for us to analyze. Um, we get a number, you saw the ones if you followed the movie of yesterday that I did. A quite high number of them. Um, they they're just like dust and casing visual stuff and just general noises, some are banging a door, that type of thing. Um, but then it throws up surprises. And I think where I am put, it's sort of rapish, that earlier sound that we got. Um, but this one is even more so because it just sounds different, and I'm quite sure you agree. And when you look at it, the frequency is not reacting like you would expect a normal sound to be bouncing off furniture, ceilings, uh, walls, that type of thing. Um, so it is a bit of a... It's, and it's this frequency again. I don't know what that is. <clears throat> um, it's certainly within voice frequency. There's no doubt. Um, right, okay. I also want to take a screenshot of this frequency. We'll call this wrap two. If you got any thoughts on that sound, let me know. Okay. Because this one, um, if someone shouts, the spread of frequency is huge if uh, someone's talking and likewise if you hit something um, th you get a big spread of frequency the unusual aspects of this and the reason why uh, I believe in the case of the um, the poltergeist or poltergeist activity which is you can get with any heart it's not just like a rampaging uh, problem. Um, a lot of hauntings have some element of poltergeist activity, rapping being one of them. And I've always said for some time that the secrets lie within the frequency because they were, they're quite unique. It's almost like a, a signature frequency because you can't speak, rap, knock things and get the same frequency. And I've done over 160 sound uh, acoustic tests in that building and can't get anything near it. Massive spreads of frequency. As you saw before, you've seen some of the ones where I've said that it could be anything, you know, as a bang. And you see these multiple reflections here. We've got a Pacific frequency, very unique, bang, just there. It's voice-ish. Um, what I can do with that is, in fact, it will do. Um, I'm going to make an uh, audio track up. Put that at the beginning. Because what I can do with that is, in fact, I'll do another movie after this one and we'll cover that aspect of um, how to clean audio up. I don't like enhancing 
and cleaning audio up. I prefer to work with a raw element. I don't mind turn, turning it up, but not enhancing, um, because you can start to add and subtract frequency and not give you a true reflection of what it is that you're dealing with. So I'm always apprehensive with that. So let's take the loop off and let's go back to the rest of it. Um, that's on normal. That's on maximum. I've gone that amplified it as much as I dare. Hmm. I know there's no TV on it. That's the question I have to switch it on at this point. Same frequency. Right, okay, it's the same frequency. Route three. It's quite a complicated one. Hmm. Okay, take the loop off. Hopefully you're hearing all these sounds okay. Yeah, like a bit of a slight cough. Just get this wrap, which I forgot to get before. That's it, that one there. I forgot to get a screenshot here because it's quite important to the the rest of the review. Okay. I'm not so sure now with that because I'm reflections. I'm going to leave that um, and concentrate on them other two wraps that we got before. Okay, so what I'm going to do now because we're on about this audio. Um, where did that other sound come from? There was it that one.
I think that's it. I'm going to do copies. And put that there on a separate track together with that other one. And now we're going to get rid of that track. So we're just left with those two there. Now. We're obviously not going to hear anything at the moment. So what I'm actually going to do initially, I'm actually going to compress it. Um, uh, I'll go for anomalous. This should begin to just lift them volumes up without damaging it too much. The freak. why I'm doing it that way. What I'm going to try and do now is get rid of some of this unwanted frequencies, just do a handset. So that is a WAF file. We've got the both sounds saved there. I don't need that anymore now. Drop that off. Don't want to save that. And what I'm going to do now is bring up what something that's called wave pad. Now what I can actually do with this is there's that sample that we just saved. Pop it into wave pad. 
and we're going to have some. The reason why I expanded it is I need to get a sound sample of the noise that we don't want. That's where the sound is. So, what we can do is we just simply highlight that area there. Now, I've not done this a while, so bear with me, remember how to do this. Um, clean up noise reduction. And what we're going to ask you to do is to grab the noise sample from the selected area for spectral subtraction. So that area that we've highlighted there to the left <coughs> is going to give up that, which is done, that's that bit. And now we're going to ask it to do is go back into it. Clean up. And we're going <clears> to <throat> ask it now to do automatically subtract that that particular um, noise from it. And we're going to go for slower speeds, it's best quality. And normally that is about 50%, which it is. Reduce noise. And now you, when we play it back, you're going to hear it a little bit better. Okay, so what we're going to do is starting to affect that particular one. So what we can do again, I'm just going to add it to that particular one area, the first uh, sound that we're interested in. Um, back into clean up. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it to 60%. I can't take 60% and I go to 50. Right, I see that's like. Okay. And I've, re I've really just left the other one alone because that's already been quite badly damaged by the extraction process. It, it, it's a give and take with it, that's the problem. And all we'd have to do then is just we're going to save it back as a. One file, which is that one there, and we're going to place it here. There we go. So, all that's useful to you. Um, I'm aware it's quite a long video this one, but I wanted just to cover the extraction as well so what I'll do and I'll begin to write this up place it down with a way that we discovered particularly those two wraps that I'm relatively I'm okay confident up to a point but we have to take into account that there was a young boy in there that may have been making the sound so all you have to do is record on that basis you know it's uh, we just simply I don't know the full story behind it which is that's what the investigator has to do Analyze it as much the best way you can and as thoroughly as you can. Record it. It's left to the reader to decide what they think to think it may well be. I am certainly not going to give it any judgment on that whatsoever. So I hope that's useful and uh, quite a long movie that one. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.